Check, check, check. Lauren, what? Check, check, check. Lauren, what? Check, check, check. Mm, I need a bit more headroom. Yep. What's up? It's Lauren. And John. And we're hot for food, of course. And today, I am super excited for today's challenge. Oh, I get it, it's a pun. We're doing the vegan soup challenge. Now, some of you probably live in warm climates where you don't need to eat soup to feel like a human being. But where we live, it's so cold. Today it feels like minus 20 degrees centigrade. Is that what they call it, Celsius? Yeah, and it's, very cold. it's just winter here still. We live in Toronto, Canada. So some of you out there can relate for real. But anyway, we're still on a soup kick. Uh, loving the soups it in the winter. It warms you up yeah. to the bone. Let's recap what happened last time. I, w I won. Yeah, you won. Yeah. The fast food challenge. The naked chicken chalupa. Thank you guys. Yeah. Some people actually attempted it and made it, and it looked it looked dope. so good, like as if we had made it. So, Props. congrats. And congrats to me. Now, hang on. It was a very close run. It was one of the closest we had. Yeah, it was like forty-six percent or something for me, and fifty-three for you. Is that good math? It's a, I'm missing a percentage. Anyway, 47 to 53 or something like that. And um, anyway, it was fun. So let's just get into the soup here because I'm friggin' freezing. All right, little lady, what are you making? Well, I'm gonna make a dumpling soup. Um, a few people have asked for it on the channel and I figure it's fairly straightforward. It's kind of a classic. I mean, not I never ate dumpling soup growing up. I don't know what origin dumpling soup is. I don't know, I'm gonna make mine like very veggie full. Like I think from, from like recipes I looked up online, there's like ones that have like a cream base with chicken, chicken and dumpling soup, and then there's ones that are more brothy based with just dumplings and like onions. Like I'm gonna put kale in it. <laughs> I am, because I want it to look healthy even though there's mounds of dough and gluten in the soup. I still want you to go like, Oh, well, I'm also eating lots of vegetables. I went to this restaurant once, or we were filming a TV show. Uh, it's this Singaporean street food restaurant, and they had something called a laksa bowl, which is like a coconut curry mm -hmm. brothy soup with like a rice noodle in the bottom. And so... And I see some yellow curry paste here, so like a golden curry. The yellow curry is important because it's the mildest. Yeah. So you're gonna be drinking a lot of this broth, and I don't want you to be like, only be able to have like a few sips of it. It's it's mainly a soup, so the broth is the most important. So I want you to be able to slurp and sip the whole. Ooh. You're like putting a knife in your face. Slurp and sip the whole uh, broth and not have like destroyed. Okay, you're mouth putting flavor. rice noodles in it. Yeah. Okay, well that's basically is that my. still a soup. Yeah, that's my favorite okay. kind of soup. Okay, so the name of the game with soup is to be quick and easy. So prep is key here. You want everything sliced and chopped exactly how you want it so that when the time comes and it's ready, you're not like chopping, trying to race the clock. You're just throwing it right in the pan and you're good to go. So we're gonna start by adding onions and some oil to the pan. So once the onions are soft, we're gonna add minced garlic and ginger. This smells insane. Okay, now I'm gonna add the curry paste and one can of full fat coconut milk. Then I'm gonna add lime leaves, two cups of broth, and bring that to a simmer. It's rich and it's curry, but it's not quite there yet. I'm gonna add a couple more spices. I'm thinking turmeric, help with the color, and I would take a little bit more heat, so maybe a little bit of cayenne pepper. Okay, I'm gonna quickly cook my rice noodles just in a separate pot of boiling water. Okay, so I think this soup needs a little bit of texture and I'm gonna get that from frying up some tofu. I'm gonna shallow fry firm tofu in a pan and add salt, pepper, and paprika. To cook your veggies, wait till the broth's simmering. I'm gonna add my broccoli and red pepper. Let those cook. And at the very end, add lime and salt to taste. So I'm gonna start by making the dough for the dumplings. And it's very simple. It's just flour, baking powder, and salt, and then mix that together. Create a well, and then add some oil and water. 
You don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna add some dried herbs to make them look a little livelier. So when the dough comes together, it's fairly wet and sticky. You're gonna let it rest here while you make the soup. All right, you're gonna add some oil to your stock pot and onions, carrots, and celery. Saute this for about three to four minutes, then add garlic, thyme, sage, dill, and ground pepper, and stir for another two minutes. Okay, now add diced potato and cook for another two minutes. Then add your stock and bring this to a boil to cook the potatoes for about eight to 10 minutes. So once the potatoes are tender and the broth is still at a boil, you're going to dollop small amounts of your dumpling dough into the water and then they're gonna puff up and float to the top. You can let them cook for about eight to 10 minutes. And then in the last couple minutes of cooking, we're gonna add our greens. So I'm adding peas, chopped kale, and parsley. Okay, so the broths are simmering. Oh, they smell good. Both of them. Let's put these bad boys together. Assembly time. I was gonna wear a white shirt for this video. <laughs> that would've been a bad idea. A lot of slurping going on here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had dumpling soup? Mm. I think we used to eat dumplings when I, grew up, when I was growing up. It's good. <laughs> Switch. Mmm. Mmm. They're both like restaurant worthy. What kind of restaurant is mine at? Mine's at like a diner. Where the heck do you even get dumpling soup? Your soup would have been served in a country that like was impoverished. Cause it was like, you've got flour and dough. It's all fillings with potatoes, which are cheap. Filling dumplings just to like I don't have kale though, or wherever that is. That's true. I made it fancy. Everyone's gonna make fun of me for adding kale. <laughs> the humble soup. The fridge cleaner. These aren't fridge cleaners though. These are like made with intention. Yeah, but you could add, you could add things to this that you wanna get rid of in your fridge. Like we have mushrooms kicking around. I could have easily added mushrooms to this dish. Snow peas. And same with yours. It could, uh, yeah, true. I could see cauliflower being in my heck, soup. Heck, you can even put corn in them. Frozen corn. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna eat the, all of my soup or are we gonna finish the video? Mm. Well, I'm really hungry, so. Mm. Well, I'm very impressed with both of these soups, but it doesn't matter what we think. It matters what you think because you are voting for who wins the vegan soup challenge. Vote in the poll in the corner right there. Click the I icon. So is it gonna be my vegan vegetable dumpling soup? Or my golden curry noodle soup? Very tough, I think. Very easy to make both and decide for yourselves. All right, now before we leave you, all the hardcore people who watch till the end will be receiving this very important announcement from Hot For Food. I'm not telling them, you tell them. Are you afraid? Yeah. Yeah. We are going on a little bit of a hiatus. Just like every good television show has its seasons and then they take a break, that's what we're going to do because we need it. Otherwise, we are going to collapse and burn out and not be able to make content for you ongoingly. We are just taking a break from production, so we will not be posting new videos after March 29th for a few weeks. I'm not even gonna tell you when we're back because I don't really know. But it won't be that Whoa, long. You're making it sound like we're leaving forever. We're not, we're just leaving for like a month or like a month and a half. Four to six weeks. Why? Because I just explained why. <laughs>
You finished the cookbook. Oh, and I finished the cookbook, and the whole plan of that was as soon as I handed in my cookbook, I was going on a trip. So that's what I'm doing, and I do really need a break for AKA my- Okay, you've earned it. I've earned it. I need a mental health break, like being truly honest here, that's the place to be honest, is here on YouTube. So anyways, we so appreciate you being dedicated and wanting to watch every week. You'll have to binge watch on old episodes, but next week, March 29th, on our regular Wednesday, we will have a special episode of Hot For Food for you. So tune in next week for a brand new episode that will be quite hilarious. It's so funny. And then, uh, and then no new videos for four to six weeks. No new friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to vote for me. Don't forget to vote for me. Find the recipes linked below on hotforfoodblog.com. Enjoy them, warm yourself up, get cozy, and we'll see you later.